I just want to give you another quick review. Just on tripods, again, this is going to be probably one of the worst reviews you've seen on these two things because I don't have the technical expertise like some people do reviewing these things. I just wanted to give you some good looking footage up close where you can get a look at them um, to get a better idea of what you're getting if you purchase them. Got the Peak Design Travel Tripod on one hand, and the other I got the Gitso or Jitso, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I've heard both. Uh, Legend, I think it was the Legend Tripod, um, just came out like a year or two ago. They're both kind of, uh, they're both travel tripods. They're both really light, compact, um, and they fold up. This thing is extremely compact, and obviously they got the unique design here. I'll show you where the legs fold right under the head. So it's truly the most compact tripod I've seen out there. I think there's a couple more brands that just came out with a new tripod that kind of copied this, but these guys are the first. Here's what the head looks like as well. And then here you have this. These legs fold, you know, close together as well, but not, not quite as compact as the Peak Design. You can get a, get a look right there. Get off my eyes. So there you have it. On the top, one's a ball head, and the other one is kind of a proprietary design. I'll show you more about it in a minute. But lengthwise, the Peak Design is a little more compact, especially without having a ball head. Um, there is a way to you can fold this up to make this even more compact. I'll show you right now. So. Raise the center column up, just takes a couple of spins. You got their G-Lock, I guess, system, which all these uh, aluminum knobs only take like a quarter turn to tighten and lock. So it's just like right there. It's closed, it's open, it's really fast actually, which is great. Pull this up, give it a quick lock. This I tighten all the way anyway, I don't even know. I don't want it to come down automatically or un unexpectedly with the camera on top, so I tighten it pretty hard. But from here, Sorry, I'm trying to get the whole thing in, so I gotta come back and forth, but do this. These go up all the way. So you see it gets right up top like that. Again, right here. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not a tripod expert. I think someone could probably do this 10 times faster than me, but now you can see how it's a lot more compact. Comparatively with the Peak Design, now they're in the same ballpark at least. Uh, peak design, obviously, still a little bit shorter and a little bit more narrow, but you know you can uh, you can see they're still pretty compact. Easy to fit in a bag, backpack. So far, using them both, and I, I mean, I'm not a hiking backpacker kind of guy. This one's very stable. If you're just going to use it as like a tabletop with all the legs up, it's it's strong, it's stable, it's very nicely made. However, when you extend all the legs, and you can do this very quickly, as you can see here, it's quick. You can do them all at once. When you pull it out. One thing I noticed is these are very thin and, and they get, oops, and they're, uh, when it's set up all the way, it's, it's, they're pretty flimsy. You know, I'm not gonna lie, they're not, because they're not round. Apparently round legs are a little more, more, um, a little more strong. The only thing is if you have round legs, you couldn't have the compact design that they decided to go with. So you're, you know, you're trading off a little bit of, for size, compactness, you're losing a little bit of stability. Obviously it depends on your needs, what you want, but I'm just letting you guys know that. When both in hand, when you feel like Gitso, Jitso, whatever it's called, with the round legs, this thing's just stiffer all the way through. And when you open the legs all the way to the bottom, again, it takes those G-locks just there really quick. But you can see the legs are quite a bit bigger and they're really stable. Okay, here you can see both of them quite a bit thicker here. I mean, this is the light side, but still, yeah, it gets those quite a lot thicker and more stable. For my needs, just doing some video work, um, not backpacking, not hiking. This would do. However, I just don't like the design of the head. It's uh, it's tough to get into vertical mode, especially nowadays with social media. You want to film a lot of things vertically as well as horizontally. This thing just is, is tough to manage. Whereas this is your more traditional ball head, where you can just rotate the camera from landscape to horizontal. Okay, so this is what the top looks like. It's pretty nice looking. It's definitely different than a traditional tripod. Uh, you got your little balance indicator level, I should call it. <laughs> Balance indicator. Um, right here, just press that down, you lock it into place. There's a lock, or unlock, there's a lock. You just spin this, locked, unlock, lock, unlock. You spin this to move the head. The only thing of this design is, I'm sure you've read, seen other reviews, you cannot move this head unless you lift up the center column. It's right here, knob, turn it a few times, and this goes up. Once this is up, then, by moving this, this one here, 
Now you can start to turn the head. The problem is, is that it doesn't go all the way into horizontal mode unless you attach the plate onto the camera a certain way. And when you have a camera that has a flip-out screen, the flip-out screen actually is on the bottom instead of aiming up, so you can't really see what you're doing. So it's a bit, it's a bit limited in that way. And you can't also, you, there's no panning ability with this head. It doesn't pan, and it doesn't level automatically because it's elevated over the over the legs. Whereas a lot of these most tripods, you can just turn it over the legs and it stays level. Um, but it's quick and easy. You know, it just depends on your needs. When you look at this, you get so. You guys care that I cut my face off, or is that preferred? It's probably preferred. Anyway, with this, this is more your traditional look. Hope this is focusing okay. Um, right here, you can pan, and it stays level, obviously, because it's balanced on a completely level surface. But you just pan like this, quick tighten, done. Um, this is the Arca Swiss style plate. Here's the plate, you got the level. Quick turn. Again, these are all made with aluminum. They're really nice, really secure. Some people are complaining online that, I don't know, it's not like as smooth as their Arca Swiss one or their RRS one, but for me, it's great. I don't know. You can also adjust the tension right here. So with this knob, that's how, I don't know how, hard, how hard it is to move the top. Right now, it's very loose. Tightness. I hope this is in focus. Now yeah, it's really stiff. I just can't even move it. So somewhere in the middle is nice. Um, again, this goes away from the traditional look. Normally they have that kind of a, I don't even know how to explain it. Almost looks like a like tortoise shell glasses style with the like white and black. But this is all aluminum. Um, here's what the weave looks like of the carbon fiber up close. Hopefully you can see it. There, there. It's a really nice weave. I, mean, I can tell it's super high quality carbon fiber. It's really nice. Good design. A little bit of a different style. Also very nice, just different. This is going to be uh, it's going to be something trying to edit this. There's the yeah. This is how you the locks work. You just push to one side, lift up, and you just keep going all the way up. Pretty easy, and they go all the way down right back into place. You don't have to press them twice, which is nice. Okay, one other thing to point out with the Peak Design, which I hate. It's, you know, it's cool in a way, but it's a pain in the ass in another way, is you have to, because of their, or sorry, this part of the, uh, of the plate, it's like a hex style. You need like a, an Allen wrench, Allen key. So they, what they do is they include right on the tripod, this little guy. You gotta pull it out every time. And it's, you know, it's cool, but it's not nearly as convenient as having a coin in your pocket. And you know, this thing falls in your lens, which would drive me insane. It's just, it's an extra step that is unnecessary. Whereas you have a more traditional style on the Gitzo, Jitzo, Gitzo. You, know, you can do it with your finger. It's easy. Done. Close that. You're done. Or, you know, if you if you need a coin or whatever, a normal screwdriver, you're, you're all good. So this is a huge advantage in my opinion. It's just a, one less step than having to use the, uh, the Allen key. Um, here you got... I think this is hard plastic. So you have some plastic parts on the on the Peak Design, whereas it gets so you have no plastic parts as I can see. Mounting this on an A7 III. Maybe it's just easy to fumble, I don't like it. It's a pain in the butt. All right, to put this on, I've got the plate on the bottom now. It's pretty easy, self-explanatory, just quickly. Slip it in, locks in, turn this, and you're ready to go. As you can see, these, have, these things have to fit in. You have to rotate these to go all the way down. If they're like, if you rotate the camera this way and it hits the top of legs, it doesn't go in. So they have to fit in these grooves and then it sits all the way down. But the downside of that, when you do this, so now you can't really move the camera. So you can't, you can't rotate the camera at all, even though I'm loosening this. When it's down in these grooves, you, you can't do anything. So you have to loosen the center column every time. Right here, loosen the center column, lift it up, tighten it again, all the way. And now you, you can move the camera around. So now I put this plate on the Sony. You can just do it with your hand, it's easy. Open that up. You just spin it, you're good to go. Close it down, you're good to go. No, no screwdriver, no Allen key, none of that stuff. Well, with this, it's just easy. You can rotate it right away, you can go into 
this position, it's just your standard ball head. It's like easy to move around, you can pan, you want to tighten it right away. Uh, you know, it's easy, it's traditional. Um, you know, so I feel like this is a more practical tripod, whereas the other one is really a specialty tripod for really getting the, 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 the most out of its fit size. So if you really, if size is your priority, I would go with Peak Design. It's not as easy to use, it's not as functional all around, but if, you're, if the size is of your primary concern, you can't beat the Peak Design. If you want size, strength, and functionality, I would go with the Gitzo. I just think it's a more, it's a more of a traditional style, but it's just easier to use, you know, um, while still being very light. They're both very light. I think the Peak Design is a half, quarter pound heavier maybe, but they're, like, they're so light it's not even funny. Uh, this is a little more stable, and it's just easier to use. So again, if you're going just for pure size, you want to put it in your suitcase, your backpack, uh, whatever, Peak Design is great. Um, if you want a little, little more in terms of functionality with very small size, this is great, I love it. It's easily strong enough uh, for my needs. If you're setting up on rocks, going hiking, big winds, you know, obviously, you know, you probably want a little bit more industrial strength tripod, there's the offer all kinds of different models. Uh, the bottom here comes with a hook in the box. I just didn't put it on. You can obviously add weight to keep this down in winds and be more secure. One thing I will say, the Gitzo gives you this piece of crap. I mean, this is a joke. You spend almost a thousand dollars on a tripod and they give you a bag for a sack of potatoes. I mean, that's just crap. They sell a bag for like 150 bucks or whatever, but crap. Peak Design on the other hand, obviously everything they do is like Apple. You know, they give you this nice, this nice case. Really hard as like get my eyes out of the frames that focuses on this, but you know, it's just cool. Everything they do is cool. Had some writing on there, top has two elastic sides, lift it up, and you get this really nice bag. Carrying couch, you can or carrying pouch, you can put your like peak design straps through there. Uh, it zips up with a waterproof zipper. I mean, it's great. So, you know, you're always getting really well done, thought out, great design, peak design. So, this is. Absolutely kills the, the crappy potato sack holder. Gitzo gives you a few extras with the Gitzo. They come with this. You get the Gitzo lube. I mean, you do what you want with this, but Gitzo grease. Uh, this is an extra part for the center column if you want to put on a different, some sort of different attachment. I have no idea. I'm not going to even pretend I know. This is the center column hook right here. So, yeah, you can add that for extra weight in the center column. And then just some other things for adjusting and everything. And they'll send out uh, spare parts. It's made of like 70, uh, 700 pieces or so, I don't know, some number of them you can get basically a spare part for everything. Um, next, I'm going to do a size comparison on the ground. I'll show you in a second. Uh, maybe get my face in the frame a few more times so I don't look like my arm's talking to you, but one second. All right, one thing I forgot to mention it actually comes with a cool little strap case. It's made of like vegan leather, whatever the hell you call it. Um, it's nice actually it goes and fits around the tripod nicely I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to butcher it because I haven't even done it yet but if you look online it shows it just wraps around the top of the legs and then the center column and I don't know what this is for but it's nice I mean I don't know how long it's gonna stay without having that kind of that nasty plasticky cracking eventually I'm sure will happen but nice little addition all right, I want to show you how quickly you can open this now. Um, and again, this is not going to be a world record by any means. Maybe for the slowest, not for fastest, but you can just do onion them all really quickly. And the whole thing just comes and done. And you're up pretty quick. So it's pretty cool. Obviously, you can close them, you got to close them individually. All right, so now what I'm going to show you is the flimsy test. The flimsy test. Uh, just see, like, it's not unstable, but it's, you can see like there is some bend going on here. If I press down on the hand, on the, uh, on the legs, they're just, they're skinny down there. So there is, there is a fair bit of movement. I mean, you know, if you had a wind, a strong wind, you might have some trouble, but if you don't have any wind, it's not an issue. It's just only when it's fully extended, because this is like a one, two, three, four, five section tripod, four or five section tripod. So there's a little less stability than a, than like a three section tripod. It's not a huge deal. All right, with the Gitzo, super fast. Goes all the legs, pull them apart real quick. Very sturdy, very strong. They just feel super strong. The circular design is definitely stronger than the uh, rectangular design. These legs, again, the G-Lock, super easy. Quarter turn, you're already out. Just like that for every leg. Go back up, quarter turn. 
quarter turn, they're tight. So very, very fast, which I'll always get tight them individually, but when they're down, it just comes out so fast. Quarter turn, done, you're all set up. So I'll show you the height comparison in two seconds. Height-wise, max height and double center column up. Because so, this has a ball head, obviously it gets us a little bit higher up. It's not a whole lot, but it's, you're looking at probably three inches. Lift up the center column. Max height, I think it's about 60 inches on this one. So right about here. We can get so. By the way, I would have wanted to do this in like a nice field with a nice background, a little wall in a bedroom, but my neighbor is an insufferable leaf blower. He never stops and he drives me insane. So I didn't want to go out there and have to get you guys to use ear bleach after this review because of the noise. So next time I do a review for travel, it's like a nicer background. So this guy is a complete ass. But anyway, um, Aside from that, for this you just rotate the rubber and aluminum, whatever this is, <laughs> goes up all the way, quarter turn, although for the center one I just make it go tight as possible, I don't want the camera dropping. Um, as you can see here, you're looking at, yeah, you got about five inches, so, you know, it does make a difference. Oh yeah, the center, the center column carbon fiber here, I'll show you the close up. Once again, these are really professional reviews. But as you can see, high quality carbon fiber, very thick, circular. This one's kind of just a, a skinnier looking little guy. Why don't you focus there? And I don't even know if that's made with carbon fiber. I don't think it is actually. So that's a fail. But height wise, there you go. So five inches honestly does make a difference because you're, if you're tall, I'm tall about 6'4". For me, you want this, you know, be able to go up to about eye height. With the lens which i can't accomplish with the peak design but i can't accomplish with the good so so just have a close-up look now that i'm holding the camera you get a good feel of what these things look like it's the aluminum you know it's pretty pretty damn nice Ooh, come on camera and the peak design as well just this thing is a little weird. I think, it, honestly, I think when they release like a version two, it's going to be unbelievable because I think there's a few things they will fix that make it look, that make it function better. The feet, I think, are pretty similar on both. You can get spikes. I know you can buy aftermarket spikes with both, but yeah, it's it's a little more sturdy. The uh, you'll get so. I'll actually show you right now. See, there's no movement when I move my hand. There's like there's very very little flexing going on. I move my fingers and my hand against this. It's not moving at all. Whereas the Peak Design, again, I know I already did this, but there's a lot of a lot more movement going on there, like not even close. So if that matters to you, that's you know, that's something that should uh, should take take note of. You know, I really enjoy doing these reviews, but this is going to be just an absolute bitch to edit because I've made more errors, fumbling around like a drunk, but. Uh, Anyway, hope you guys got a little bit of a, hope you guys got something out of this. Um, I'm going to stick with the Gitzo. I think it works better for me, a little more stable. I don't need massive, like insane compactness. Um, this is still compact enough. Um, I honestly, I might, I might have stuck with this one if you're a little bit taller. And if the ball I had type design that they used was more traditional. Um, Oh yeah, and then putting the, the plate on the bottom of the camera with their with their Allen wrench or Allen key, just extra step you don't want to deal with. You know, it's hard enough to set up cameras and get everything right. You just want to be able to do everything as fast as possible. But if absolute compactness is what you're looking for, then I put the design. Otherwise, I'd recommend it get so or something similar. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Um, fumbling around, still learning how to do these reviews. If you like the video, if you actually got through the video, I'm probably talking to nobody. I would I'd appreciate a like, uh, you know, follow. Uh, that might be that might be a reach at this point, but uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and all the best.